I made my own hot sauce in Japan. So I'm back here in Niigata, Japan to show you more behind the scenes of the making of my Japanese hot sauce, Paolo from Tokyo Premium Kaminari Hot Sauce. And today is the first time ever that it's gonna be bottled and labeled. Many of you already know about this handcrafted hot sauce when I did my day in the life of a Japanese hot sauce maker. But that was several months ago in the winter and I'm back now to do a follow up, show you a bit more, show you how it all started and also to see how Kentaro and the team are doing on this special day. I'm so excited for this one so let's Let's get our hot sauce on. In my day in the life video, I wasn't able to show you the entire process of how this one of a kind hot sauce is handcrafted. So I'm back to give you an even more behind the scenes experience and then finally have the workers try the hot sauce. There's Kentaro. Hey, it's been a while. How have you been? So what are you working on? Anything else? Yes, it is. Can you show me? Of course. Let's go. Okay, I guess we gotta change. Cool. So I think they're gonna hand blend my sauce right now. So my umami rich hot sauce is uniquely crafted with a shoyu base, a Japanese soy sauce that already sets it apart from most western hot sauces. Then the artisan adds the premium kanzuri to the blend which is a fermented chili paste made from snow bathed red chilies, yuzu, rice koji, and sea salt. And while the original kanzuri is aged for 3 years, my hot sauce uses a premium kanzuri which is aged for 6 years helping create an even deeper umami taste. And finally, Niigata grown Carolina Reaper chili peppers are added to give the hot sauce its undeniable heat. Just being in the room alone, I can already feel the fire in my eyes. And as I mentioned before, this hot sauce is all hand blended by a select group of highly skilled artisans only here in this very kitchen. Which means that they can only produce the hot sauce in small batches of about 1200 bottles at a time. But it guarantees the utmost attention to detail and an umami flavor experience that can only truly be born in Japan. So we saw it before in the previous video in the day in life. This is actually my hot sauce. And it's gonna be bottled right now. So while the hot sauce is being bottled, there are some things that I didn't get to share previously that's maybe worth mentioning. The word kaminari in my Paolo from Tokyo premium kaminari hot sauce means thunder and lightning in Japanese, which is what it feels like when the spiciness hits you. And hence the classic Edo period picture of the Japanese god of thunder used on the label, but dressed in a fun and playful zebra print. Wow, this is amazing. Look at the hot sauce coming down the line. Let me just grab a bottle of umami fire. Wow, look at this. It is still warm to the touch. The hot sauce is still hot. And look at that. Made in Japan. Carolina Reaper in Kanzuri. Produced in Yoko Niigata. This is what we've been waiting for. And the box itself, well, it took months to design and redesign and even more redesign. It's something that I've never done before, but I guess I can say the same thing about the hot sauce. At the end of the day though, it was all a labor of love and something that I've always dreamed of doing. And knowing that we put so much effort in both the packaging and the taste of the hot sauce itself, I'm grateful to be able to share what we've crafted with all of you. Okay, I just snagged myself one of the bottles. Okay, so look at the hot sauce. This looks amazing straight off the line. You know, this has been one of my dreams for such a long time to make my very own hot sauce. For a lot of you that don't know, I love hot sauce so much. I put it on all of my food. Um, if you watch my videos, you know I just like to have that little bit of a kick just to make things a little bit interesting. And I've been searching far and wide, you know, all over the world and through Japan to find an amazing umami enriched hot sauce. And I came across Kanzuri. From the very first taste, I was inspired to create a fiery hot sauce with its distinct flavor. It took months and months of tireless work to make it all happen, to get the blend just right. And it is finally here. You can smell the umami just straight from the bottle. Just get a little dab like that. 
the fire and umami is unmatched. This is what we spent so much time working on. This is it. Can't wait for you guys to try it. Oh wow, look, I'm starting to sweat a little bit. It ranks pretty up there with hot sauce, but it's not like the super, super tier hot sauce, but it is pretty spicy. Like I like to say, it's Japanese hot. And what I love about this hot sauce is that I can put it on anything. I put on my eggs, wagyu steak, chicken, oysters, pizza, pasta. I put it in my natto, I put it in my soup, I put it with a cup of noodles, I put it in everything. And one of my favorite things to do is take some ketchup, a little bit of soy sauce, and put this in there, mix it all together, and dip my fried chicken in it. It is amazing. This hot sauce is packed with so much umami and flavor. I actually want to get some other people around here to try it. Kentaro, can you take me to the chili fields? Maybe someone there can try my hot sauce. Let's do it! So all of the red chilies and Carolina Reaper used for the hot sauce is only grown locally here in this field to ensure high and consistent quality but limits the total quantity that can be produced annually. Hi, what are you doing? The hand-picked red chilies are then sea salted and of course used in the winter Yuki Sadashi process where they're spread over snow fields at the base of Mount Miyoko to develop their natural umami over three to four days forming the foundation of Kanzuri's distinctly delicious flavor. So how long have you been working here? Oh, really? At this time, he's still learning the family business. And typical of most Japanese families, even though he's a son of the owner, he's required to start at all of the lower level jobs to fully understand the workings of the business as well as the workers' conditions, hopefully, earning his respect in the workplace. By the way, do you want to try my new hot sauce? Okay, so he's gonna try it for the first time. ですね。大丈夫です。大丈夫です。オッケー。How <笑> So quickly, I wanted to tell you guys where you can get the hot sauce. First of all, you can go to my new website, paolofromtokyohotsauce.com, or you can just look right below this video. There's an icon just below. Click on the hot sauce and you can buy it straight away. And if you're in Japan, I have shops listed on the website you can buy directly from, such as Skiji Fish Market. That said, let's continue on. Okay, let's see if you can find someone else to try the hot sauce. Hi, where did you just come from? Hi, Tatsukara. Hey, do you mind trying my new hot sauce? Yes, sir. Okay. So how does it compare to your original hot sauce? Balance. Dope, thanks. Okay, that's another one down. Let's go in the shop right now to see if someone is in there where we can ask. Hello, excuse me. Hi, do you mind trying my new hot sauce? She's getting some water right now. A lot of people have said it's kind of hot. Can you eat spicy food? Okay, let's see. Awesome! Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that many of you can try my Paolo from Tokyo premium Kamenari hot sauce. It's truly one of a kind. You can get it at paolofromtokyohotsauce.com. And like always, if you want to see more videos like this or anything related to Japan, hit that subscribe button and the bell button. I'll catch you guys in the next one.